Joining me now is someone who's had Andrew Tate on a very popular show, Leah Halper. And Leah, thanks for joining us. You know, you know Tate. You've spoken to him. I watch your clips, clips from your show. You have some disagreements with him on issues, but you believe in his right to speak. Is this a watershed moment here as bad as people rally around him? Absolutely. We are now seeing a major war on freedom of speech and really actually demonstrates that there's a greater agenda going on here. Yes, some of what Andrew says is controversial, but that's not a reason to cancel someone or deplatform somebody. Also, a lot of what he said has actually been taken out of context. Many of the clips re-edited in order to portray a completely different narrative. But ultimately, what we're seeing here is a massive war on masculinity because Andrew is empowering men to take personal responsibility. He actually teaches them how to leave the system, how to leave the matrix, how to become an entrepreneur, how to leave the nine to five, how to basically save yourself because nobody is coming to save you, how to become um, immune from all of this corruption that we saw and the tyranny that we saw over the last two years. One of his most viewed videos on YouTube is actually how to fight depression without any pharmaceutical pills, which will basically leave you like a dead zombie. All of this stuff empowers men. So of course he's being um, deplatformed and cancelled because ultimately the system, the powers that be, they want men in particular to be weak, fat, and compliant. Because who is it that fights the tyranny? It's the men. It's the men that fight, and it's the men that go to war. So of course they've cancelled Andrew.